Conor McGregor recently made a prediction for his upcoming trilogy fight with Dustin Poirier. He posted this on his Instagram with the caption, The prediction is in. I'm going to win the trilogy fight via front kick to the nose. Round number 4. His nose needs straightening and I'm the rhinoplasty. Khabib Namagomedov recently announced on his Instagram that he will be releasing his own NFT cards. On digitalkhabib.com he has revealed the prices for the cards. The gold cards would be sold for $2,900. The platinum card will be sold for $29,000. And the diamond card will be sold for $290,000. Colby Covington recently sent a message to Kamaru Usman and posted this on his Instagram with the caption, I'm ranked number one in the world and added a third UFC champion as a victim to my resume in my last fight. You're beating Lautwitz and calling out a journeyman with 15 losses for a rematch after he hasn't fought in a year since you beat him 50-42. Show me activity. You're a b Marty. Show the world some balls. Fight me. A three-round flyweight bout between Macy Barber versus Miranda Maverick has been targeted for UFC Con on July 24th. Macy Barber is coming of unanimous decision loss to Alexa Grasso, and Miranda Maverick is coming of unanimous decision win over Gillian Robertson. A three-round welterweight bout between Neil Magny versus Jeff Neal has been targeted for UFC Con on May 8th. Neil Magny is coming of unanimous decision loss to Michael Chiesa, and Jeff Neal is coming of unanimous decision loss to Stephen Thompson. Oh yeah, my man. Out here getting it. This is how you guys say one more set. <laughs> What's your towel at? What's your bike yet? <laughs> Yeah, he's cold though. He's cold. He's freezing. He's freezing right now. Look, he's freezing. He's freezing. Fuck it, get it back. Fuck it. I mean, that's pretty freaking. Imagine I throw an elbow and it misses his face and hits him on the collarbone. His collarbone breaks. Hmm. I did one slide but disappeared, so I ain't even gonna talk about the hair on this. Venom bags. Uh, cool shorts. Shorts. Outdoor shorts. Cool little jacket. Really like the sweatpants to go with it. They give you a little travel bag. I think that's pretty neat. I like the new underwear. I think they're better than the Reebok ones for sure, for sure. I like a little snake on them. This bag right here, I'm, I'm really digging the bag because it goes good with the green machine. So that's pretty cool. Um, the socks, they went from having Reebok on the bottom to having the, the Venom on there, and I really like that. They got a lot of green. Let's see if they have any other colors when I take it back. Let's talk about, oh, I hate that I dropped those. Let's talk about Reebok slides. We still got Reebok slides. I'd be curious to see if Venom does a slide. I got so many of these, I'm tired of them. Um, and then they're still giving us these same old Reebok shoes. And maybe if I keep winning fights, Reebok will let me do something for them. Or, I don't know. Maybe we're done with them. So. You know me, you know me. You know I like giving messages from See, I got the shower on, so I'm a clean boy. So don't you go there. Look, all you motherfuckers ask me if you should bet on me, no, don't bet on me. Why? Because I'm not trying to make you any any Kenny Florin on the Anakin Florin podcast gives his thoughts on Francis Ngannou's title win. That is just amazing. You know, um, I, I did not think he was going to pull it off this time around. Did I think he was eventually going to be champion? Absolutely. Uh, at this point, the fact that he was able to pull it off and do it against Stipe Miacic is just amazing. You know, of, yes, of course it was possible with that kind of power and speed. Um, but the fact that he was able to make all of those adjustments, the technical adjustments, the mental adjustments, to stay calm and not get overly excited, the fact that this guy can learn uh, at this speed is, is just amazing. Uh, and for anyone who's going to be trying to take that belt away from him, good luck. And Ngano is just a marvel. The, the, the fact that this guy was able to go out there and stop a, a takedown from Stipe. I mean, Stipe was pretty deep on that high crotch takedown, and Ngano just yep. kind of threw him off and then hit a takedown of his own. Right. So he's showing an evolution that is really rare, especially in the heavyweight division, John. I was I was blown away. He's ready. He's ready. Flex it. <laughs> Your session done with Colby, yeah, the PI. Good to be back in the PI. Doing some uh, light drills. <clears throat> My 
mocha tastes good, Colby. <laughs> Where's yours, buddy? I'm um, spilt all over the road. <laughs> That's what happens when you put on the boot of the car and then open the boot, mate. <laughs> Get your shit together. That was your first uh, gun experience, mate. It was good. They had to pull the target back because they kept getting bullseyes, but other than that, it was pretty fun. Mate, <laughs> you were fucking aiming at the roof at one stage. <laughs> He literally had to pull it on target for ya. <laughs> literally. No comment. I was like, where's he going? In Puerto Rico. Oh, mamma mia. With my boys here. Never seen waves like this. It's borderline dangerous. Tomorrow, 8 a.m. sharp. Look, so check this out, guys. We're here at Valiant. Oops, sorry. And I got a freaking pimp on my face. Anyhow, check out, check out the new, check out the new kicks. I got the JBs, man. All I see is gold. All I see is gold. What's up? Here with my boy Junior here. You know he's teaching jujitsu. Hey. But he stopped for a sec to kick my ass in the cage. And I had like, to get oh, around it. Oh see how good he is in jiu-jitsu. Hey. Thank you, brother. It was amazing. Thank you, bro. Amazing. Okay, jiu-jitsu class is going. You're just teaching an A2 just, just both, now. Both, huh? yeah. Hey guys, come train with this guy. It's legit amazing. Hey. If you live in Florida, Orlando, this is the man. Julian, I'll hey. tag him over here. What's